Um, the first experience uh, was very straightforward. It was uh, pretty fun, actually, uh, when I was going through the experience. Um, I was on an uh, alien planet or another planet. Um, not sure which one exactly, but I was there and I was meeting with this um, alien species. Um, they were blue in color. They kind of looked like they had hair, but it was uh, more like a part of their body. It uh, looked like slick back hair. It was very interesting. Again, they were blue in color, and they wore these white uh, kind of like um, skin-tight kind of suits almost. And I was there on the planet, and we were constructing a colony. Uh, I was on, like, their building committee and stuff like that, and I was sharing the new you with them and stuff like that. Um, but it was very interesting because it became kind of apparent at a point that my point, that my intent and kind of purpose for being there was not only to sort of establish a point of communication, but it was also to get a little bit of information from one of their uh, commanders. One of their, I guess he was kind of like a gruesome commander sort of thing. Um, so at a point, um, I kind of like slipped away from the whole building committee and I disguised myself as one of these little robots and... Um, I think I forgot to mention that, that the commander wasn't uh, like a humanoid or he wasn't even an alien. He was uh, like a cyborg, but he was kind of like that gruesome kind of type. In any ways, I disguised myself as one of the robots in order to kind of infiltrate into his little ranks and his army in order to gather this information. So that was a fun little experience, um, just sort of meeting these other body types. Um, again, kind of everything that's going on in the world, um, sort of like that disclosure. They're kind of preparing people for certain things and whatnot um but uh this next experience um it, it I, i'm more so just kind of curious um if i could get a view on this maybe Dwayne, if you have time um you don't have to pop off or nothing um i was meeting with um a chief um, a native american individual or like a you know an indian whatever uh he was uh, leading a tribe it says like not in the like 200 years ago, it was like sort of now. Uh, I was I walked onto one of the reservations, um, sort of like whatever their communities, and I was talking to who was supposed to be the leader of their community. And when I walked into their their place and I started talking to him, uh, he was speaking to me, but I don't remember exactly what he was saying. But I started getting this overall impression. It was like something was ringing, and it said corruption. And as soon as I got that impression, all of a sudden, a wildfire or some kind of fire started off in the distance on my right hand side. And it started letting off all this smoke. And he turned back over his left shoulder to look at it. So kind of turning his back to me to look at the, the smoke coming out. Uh, so that was that experience. Uh, if I could get a view on that or if anyone has any kind of ideas about that. Yeah, OK, so. Um... I've engaged with some of the Indians myself, and we had this one years ago as one example, uh, and was introduced to him. He was part of a tribe, and this is just one experience, they're not all like this. Well, then, uh, you know, it was about the bonds at the time, and I uh, had talked to him on the phone. Uh, and it was, it seemed really good. Uh, and others had introduced me. And so, um, cause they knew him. And so uh, it all seemed really good. But on the real side, I saw that he had built walls and he was hiding behind them. And he wasn't interested because again, uh, there's a lot of grief. Uh, and because it's so close, uh, with the uh, history of the United States, white men and Indians, you see. And so, uh, you know, and, and it's kind of funny in a way. Yes, they were here. They were wiped out and whatever. And in a way, they uh, kind of claim the land now. OK, they, they kind of claim it. To, so, you know, these attitudes have transformed. Uh, from, uh, you know, all the aggression, whatever, which is understandable because this is very hard. People were wiped out, you know, children, women, etc., wiped out. And this is their history. This is all they have to look forward to. And uh, also in the movies, uh, the Indians are the bad people. 
you know, for the most part. They're the bad people. And so uh, they're living with that, and they're put on reservations like cattle, et cetera, and they're, they're, it's like they can't decide their own uh, life or future here, et cetera. So uh, you've got, you know, we, you know, with the awareness, we see that, oh, Indians are cool, Indians are fun. But still, uh, they have this, a lot of them have this, uh, because this is just part of their culture. Just like the reptilians, uh, tradition to destroy is traditional with them. That's just how it is. They're just destroyers. This, that's a traditional thing, like it's a good thing. And so, uh, you know, you have all these attitudes that are hidden. And so look at what you're seeing there. And, uh, you know, the fire is, uh, there's something in the distance. It's kind of like that idea that's, that's cooking, that's burning, all right? And as it comes closer, et cetera. So, uh, you know, these people, they uh, try different ways. Some of them get into politics or whatever, et cetera, which is understandable. They try all these maneuvers to, you know, get back something that was supposedly there or their heritage or whatever. Well, really, this is stuff's all cons- all mixed up and uh, misconstrued. Uh, it, it just becomes uh, a bunch of nonsense after a while uh, because uh, people don't have the awareness. That's why I'm creating this uh, course. Uh, your intuitive senses, because people can relate to that, and from there goes your real awareness. So more so than just a literal thing that people are familiar with, they have to decide to become intuitive uh, as a first step. So I'm writing this course, which goes along those lines, and the people that I'm dealing with, with the bonds, I let them know uh, that this has to be so for things to work overall. Otherwise, you're just one dimensional, literalized, thinking that, oh, we're building these things, we're helping the world, etc. So uh, in the scenario there, I see that, uh, yeah, uh, even though the Indians, uh, you know, their intentions uh, are so, but at the same time, uh, they can be using violence, violent attitudes, revenge or whatever, uh, in these means, you see. So again, now they're, in a way, let's say they go into politics and they're planning a takeover uh for what to get their land back well that's just going to lead to uh you know not good things because of how things are already set up this is it so all that's left is awareness so you take a look at that it's all okay you watch how people decide that's all you can do and yes you try to give them hints and so i will finish this course soon uh the first part of it and put it on uh, Facebook as a group and do a website or whatever uh, from there. And I'm going to lead this. I'm going to create a Skype with this to talk to people uh, about this and how this works. And so this is something relatable to people more so than, uh, you know, having to belong to a spiritual path or something like that. So uh, I'm talking to people in that sense to use that to where they learn to see what's going on for themselves and try instead of trying to literally always telling them what's taking place because everybody has their experiences and it's just whatever their computer mind contains uh other than that it's a good story until they experience it so uh yeah there's just a heads up there jeremy uh about that but uh, you have to look at that and yeah there's a consciousness there with the indians that uh, they kind of cling to uh, in their own way. And you see the hints on Facebook, uh, you know, certain Indian factors giving hints and stuff, and just like we do, it's understandable, but it's never referenced uh, to the awareness of things. It, it only uh, references the culture, you see? And so that becomes the difference, a breed, you know, uh, an Indian breed, the white man breed, whatever. It just references the physical body and a culture and so that's why we're here to share something that makes more sense